So we have a, a nice sketch which is looking very nice and smooth and then we're going to go and create uh, an extrusion from it. And straight away we can start to see that this looks rather jaggedy uh, all the way around the outside edge and frankly not very nice. So what we want to do is we make it, want to make it look nicer. So we go into the options, document properties, image quality and we've got these two sliders. The top one is for the shaded view which is what we're seeing in SOLIDWORKS at the moment and we also have wireframe and draw high quality views which is what you use in drawings. Now I've deliberately set these quite low in order to be able to answer this question but if we move this up towards the right hand side we can see in the uh, preview it moves from a hexagon to a circle. So if I take it up towards the top here and then hit OK straight away we can see that that circle now looks a lot smoother and less jagged. However if I zoom in once we get into a certain distance we can start to see the jagged edges come back. So this is where we might want to move the slider right over to the right hand side into the red zone. So when we move it over here straight away we get a warning that sliding into the red zone will make the file size increase quite significantly depending on the complexity of the part. The graphics performance will be slower, rotation uh, and rebuilds and also there will be sub substantially increased memory usage so that's your RAM will go up. Now also by dragging it up to the top we also automatically turns on the optimized edge length high quality but slower, sort of what the mem what the uh, warning's telling you and it also prevents you manually editing the deviation because it's going to pick the best thing that it can achieve. So if I hit OK to that, again we can see now even at a high zoom level we've got a really nice smooth edge. Now we can also get to the image quality settings by going to performance and there's a button, takes you straight back to it. Um, one other tick box that I do want to mention at this point is the apply to all reference part documents. Now obviously that's greyed out because I'm in a part, but if I was in an assembly then I can actually set the uh, resolution uh, for all the parts within the assembly at the same time. Uh, now this really helps a lot if you've got an assembly that's working very slowly, um, you can pull everything right down to the bottom to improve the speed and you can do it not only just for the assembly but for every component inside it, reducing uh, overall file size but also increasing the speed and performance. One other comment, you'll notice this is a document property setting, so this is only taking effect in the part that I've got open at this point in time. If I want to have this setting for all of the files um, I'm ever going to create, then obviously I'd open up a part, make the setting where I think is a, a sensible location, and then save it as my template. And by saving it as my template, we automatically get that this setting for every file we create from it. Thank you very much for watching.